Yo, crazies, we got some news from Multiverses themselves. It's insane. Take a look, baby. But first, we have the dance. Woo! Oh, we're back. The crazies, it is true. Multiverses has tweeted. We usually don't take things too seriously in Multiverses. More fun that way. Disagree! I'm gonna be the best! I'm gonna be on the freaking top! That's where my fun is. That's where I need to find it. But Netcode is no laughing matter. Let's take a look at what Player First Games has been up to in the lab as they worked, reworked Netcode to provide the best experience for your return on May 28th. Let's showcase a lower ping environment. The blue line indicates the player predicted path, and the red line indicates the state after rollback has happened. Oh, I see it. I see the line. Holy shit. I think there's a small blue line under the red. You can kind of see it with this gradient right here, but the blue line is right underneath. The blue line is the predicted path, and the red line indicates the state after rollback has happened literally in sync 100% of the time. You don't see it ever jump back. Wow. I didn't. Wow. Wow. Even though it does fix itself because it's inevitable that it has to fix itself. It's going to be seamless to where you don't even notice. Holy shit. Shaggy sandwich. Uh, guys, I have to go. My erection is large. That's 50 ping. Higher ping environment, you can see that even with higher ping, this maintains a smooth look and feel. 146 ping. So you can see some discrepancies right there. Very little. You see the blue line? See how fast it fixed itself? So the blue thought he was going to keep moving up. So on the top right, so you he's jumping up in a straight line. So the game thinks he's going to keep jumping up in a straight line, right? But it immediately realizes he dodges forward, or yeah, dodges forward with the red line. But, it, you know, it's still in the process of predicting that he's going up. But look how fast it fixed itself. Let's slow it down! You don't even notice that it's predicting this. It just looks seamless to me. See, right there at the bottom left corner, it thinks it's gonna he's going to keep on falling says oh no he's jumping rewinds those frames it goes back to where he's jumping but not to from the start of the jump from where he is at the jump so like maybe three frames into the jump it teleports him back there very good 150 ping guys i'm playing 100 ping on parsec versus other people and it is miserable experience keep in mind 100 ping is a, a one second delay but with the idea of netcode, it's not just smooth gameplay, is that matchmaking will be fast and it will be accurate. Because it no longer needs to find a good ping to match you with. It's the widened search of the ping and it finds the section of your rank. Your diamond, oh, let's find a 150 ping diamond player or 60 ping or 30 ping or 100 ping. You know, it, will, it won't matter where it chooses from. It will just find you that right ranked match as fast as it can. That is one of the biggest takeaways that matchmaking and ranked gameplay will improve drastically. And I'm super excited about that. Wow, man, I love it. This was captured by Player First Games with a connection from Connecticut to Mexico. So all the way from Connecticut to Mexico. All right, we're gonna watch this video and you know, just analyze it real time. And then we'll go back through and see what we notice. Oh my God, your dad's so thick. She's so thick and juicy. Ooh, the smoke from Batman. Okay. Licking the tongue of the lips. Gathering information. Wait a minute. Finn's spike down seems a little bit more in tune. Better. Oh my. I can tell it's slower. And I can see the gameplay. You know. Just more clear. And precise. And he's out of there. That man, that fin spike is what I'm noticing. It seems a lot more in tune. Okay. Dude, the, the Garnet Nair seems so thick. I do like the clouds. What is Travo doing? Ooh, good spike from 
often. This isn't over yet. Yeah, the hit stun, the character sizes, a little bit slower gameplay, you can just tell. But of course the net code, man. By the way, this is being played in Connecticut to Mexico. Alright, 103. That yeah, okay, so Wonder Woman hits right here. Like look, she just boom in a blink of eye flies out of the map. So obviously the characters, as I said. The smoke from Batman. Garnet, the projectile seems so small. And I noticed that battering was small as well. Seems like projectiles and the coins seem like they didn't change. Like the coins, do they seem smaller? Maybe not. I also noticed an armor. Uh, you don't get like the armor icon above your head, but now it's just like a lot brighter, it seems like. Also new profile icons, interesting. Fresh take. Confirmed shared stocks, by the way. Confirmed shared stocks. I can't, I, I mean, I need to, I need to focus, guys, because I can't stop looking at Garnet. Oh my god. Oh, oh. Watch Finn spike here. Holy shit. Oh my god. Look how big Garnet is with her nair. Unbelievable. She's literally Iron Giant. The Finn sword, see, it just seems like he doesn't go as far when he does his down spike. I know that right there, Batman. Batman hits Garnett up with the uppercut, and I feel like she doesn't move anywhere. Am I crazy in that? Also, I noticed this is obviously from uh, Ajax's point of view because you got the icon, uh, the little arrow, the yellow icon, and it seems more bold. Like the the line seems thicker around him. Um, also, the dodge meter looks like there's six little things and what i noticed is if you hit someone you gain half of it back well that kills i don't know if that would normally kill at 96. so he just like freaking flies holy god damn is this the solar eclipse <laughs> i paused it at the most insane moment also i'm noticing like the battering right here seems really small uh, so it's it's true. Batman's not compensating for anything, but my god, can, freaking Garnett probably is. What is that? Is that like a perk? I wonder one just teleported into the teammate. Garnett Nair weakens. Batman is weakened. I don't remember weakening like that. Look at uh Batman's speed or a dodge meter. So he dodges, which takes one little notch, and then he's doing an attack. So dodge attack takes two squares out of six, which seems kind of crazy, but you know what? I'm actually all for it because I don't want any dodge spamming. I don't want any dodge spamming. I want it to be distinctively, you you purposely do a dodge attack. Use it at the precise times, not just spam it. Dare spy, uh, might be stronger. The spike off Wonder Woman. See weakened? It applies weakened. Is that different? Because she's covered in blue, but still has the same color. But then you have the border with Ajax's point of view, but you can see his color uh, scan. It's not, it doesn't change the actual color of the scan. It seems like it just makes kind of like a semi-transparent uh, field around your character. Look at the thick of that shield. Goddamn Mary Poppins umbrella coming in. Is that an ability I do not know? What is that ability? Wonder Woman just used the whip and there's no cooldown on that at the bottom. Because you have Batarang, you have the bomb, you have the cloud, you have the fists. Unpleasant. The whip? There's no cooldown. Or it's a bug, I don't know. Wait, oh, she, she just did it again! The whip, twice. Alright, you know what? There might be some other things. Definitely let me know below if I miss any of them. We did see on their news, Mulder vs. News. We're gonna read through this and see what's going on. Nice. Several blogs. That's beautiful. That's what we need. Scheduled blogs would be amazing. That's why I'm not mad at, at like the no news. I trust them that they know the feedback and the really where I will judge them is on the release. If they don't say anything after the release, they just keep quiet, then I will be upset. I'm leaving it for the release, man. That's where it really matters. Invaluable feedback we received from the community during our open beta period, and we're looking forward to showing you all that we've been working on. 
that feels real to me. I don't think they're just saying that. <clears throat> One of the first aspects of the game we wanted to address was how multiverses felt to play online. That's why the team has been working hard to make sure that we provide the best online experience possible. We've already seen footage now from earlier that it seems really good, a lot better. In short, when Multiverses launches, it will incorporate a smoother, more reliable netcode that has been rebuilt from the ground up. Let's dive in right in, shall we? Mm, I love this, dude. I love this. We need more of this. During the open beta, our original netcode tried to consistently sync animations to the right timing on your machine, but ultimately everything was decided by the server. Wow, okay, this is really huge. They're being upfront. For example, even if you saw a projectile and dodged it perfectly, it would occasionally still hit you. Dude, you have no idea how much that means to me. You actually admitting and saying that. That experience is never optimal, but it felt even worse if you didn't have a good ping. To provide a better player experience, we made the decision to create a, and implement rollback netcode that would be tailor-made for multiverses. Whoa! Whoa! Dude, that is so... Man, because they said that they built the netcode from the ground up, but this, like, the, the way you word things means so much. I don't care what you say. The way you word things, the way you say things matters drastically. With rollback netcode, you're seeing exactly the same thing as your opponent meaning that their position and frames of animation are always updated to the most accurate position, which continues to be predicted from there. But they were showing like 150 ping instances and it was negligible, like minuscule. Ultimately, we just decided to build a bespoke rollback netcode from scratch that did everything we needed it to. That is, ma that is amazing to hear. During open beta, matchmaking was often determined by latency. I was telling you earlier, meaning that people were often matched with opponents in nearby regions and not since being in closer proximity would yield higher quality matches with lower ping and better connections. This has all been very important work towards our goal to have the Multiverse's online experience feel as though you're sitting next to uh, your friends on the sofa playing locally, uh, only with less sharing of the snacks. <laughs> I see there, I see there. Hey, also, um, their Multiverse's Discord, I wanted to go over that. I went back and saw that one of the, or Casimir, aka Charlie, I guess, a technical director on the project for Netcode, I assume, and he knows about the Netcode. How does it play cross-continent? Here's another person, you know, just validating how good the Netcode is. Really great. I'm not going to say it's perfect. Nothing is. We still have to abide by the laws of physics and how information can physically travel, but we've built... Uh, we've built systems to best to balance play experience with rollback experience. We'll continue to tweak and improve it, but as some of the QA folks can attest to, I think it's already in a really stable spot, which is mm, so good to hear. Just reassurance, man. I've done networking for a couple of fighting games at this point, and it's some of the best feeling online play we'll, you will have. Again, it's always it will always be subjective, and there will always be outliers, but... Can't wait for you all to try it. And this is one question I had as well, and I'm glad I answered it. How, uh, how will it hold up to servers full of people? Scaling infrastructure is hard no matter what genre you work on, and we have a lot of you that are excited to play Multiverse again. So we're planning and working as hard as we can to make sure this isn't an issue. As far as the netcode is concerned, every game will be on its own instance. So your experience won't be impacted by the number of people playing at any given time. If we've given you a game to play, we've reserved capacity for you. That is mm, so beautiful. Very, very big on uh, Charlie. Charlie coming through. There's a lot more information, but that was one of the biggest things. So go ask your questions that you have in there. All right, crazies, that's going to do it for me. We had some really good uh, talks and just analyzing it. Thank you for watching this uh, probably longer video to, you know, just watch it with me and see my thoughts. And we can just discover all this together because a lot of you probably didn't slow it down and look at, it, uh, you know, things. But if I miss anything and you want to bring it up, make sure to comment down below. And I appreciate you liking the video and subscribing to the channel if you uh, like this sort of content. I'm going to be posting so much multiverses content in the future especially when the release comes out overall my thoughts i'm excited about the new net code looks very smooth very fun to play besides the net code is a little bit too big of characters um the hit stun is a little bit longer and even this gameplay you can tell how much faster it is compared to the others uh the dodge meter we'll see how that feels i'm not against that the dodge meter and i think it looks perfect 
other than that, I think I'm, I'm super excited. It looks just way more fluid, way more uh, fun. But with that crazies, I hope you have a great, fantastic night and a great, fantastic day. All right, either way, I love you crazies. Goodbye crazies. Let's go, May 28th, let's go.